Hey guys, it's Coding Jesus. Welcome to my 10th episode of my C++ quiz series, a series where we look at various C++ concepts through practical problems and applications. All right, now without further ado, let's get into the problem today. All right, so what we're looking at here is really about global and local scope. That is the theme of this problem. What we have here is a global variable, x, and we initialize it to 1. Now, by no means does this mean that having global variables is okay or that it's a good design pattern or whatnot. That's not the point of this problem. The point of this problem is not about whether global variables are good or bad, okay? We now look at main. In main, we have a reference or we're aliasing x with y. We also declare another variable x. We then set x equals 2. What we want to do here is understand what gets printed here. So that's the question that I'm posing. Pause this video now and think about what will be printed when we print y and then x. All right, so hopefully you've thought it through. Now let's take a look at the answer and explain what's going on here. Okay, so what's printed out is 1 and 2. You may have gotten this answer right, you may have gotten it wrong, but regardless, I'm going to explain why this is the case, okay? Let's look at this line by line. What's going on is we initially declare a global variable x, and we initialize it to 1. Okay, we then move into main. And let's take a look at this first, right? The first thing here that we're doing here is taking a reference to x, and we're calling it y, so we're aliasing x. Right, y is pointing to the same memory address as x, but it has a different name. When we get here, the only thing y can see so far, the only x that's visible to y, is this x in the global scope. So y will alias x in the global scope, and y will alias the value of 1. The next thing that will happen is we'll declare a variable x. Now, why is this legal? Why can I do this? Well, the x here is in a different scope than the, the global variable that we have here, x x here has a static duration. It is a global variable. The x here is in a local scope, and its duration will end at the end of this bracket right here. Okay, That's when it will be destroyed. It will no longer be in scope. So this x has nothing to do with this x that we've declared in the global scope. And what's this x initialized to? What's in it? Well, nothing's actually in this x, right? It's junk. It could be anything. There's something there, but it could be anything. right? It's not default initialized to 0. It's not initialized to any other number. The next thing we're doing is setting x to 2. Now, the x that we're setting to 2 is the x in the local scope. That's the x we're setting to 2 here. The x that y is aliasing is still referring to the x in the global scope because that is the only x that y knew at the time that we reached this piece of code right here. So what happens when we print y and we print x is that y is an alias of the x in the global scope, and the x in the global scope is set to 1, so we print out 1. And this x right here is referring to the x in the local scope. And the x in the local scope was originally declared and then initialized to 2, so we print out 2. Okay, guys, at the end of this video, short and sweet, hopefully you've learned something about global and local scope and declaring variables in different scopes. Thanks for listening, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. And smash the dislike button twice, just so I know you liked it twice as much or you disliked it twice as much. All right, guys, cheers.